Although it's true that dogs can be a man's best friend, it's important to make sure that you pick the proper furry companion. In this video, I'm going to cover the top 10 worst dog breeds for seniors to own. It's crucial to note that labeling one dog breed as worse than another for senior citizens isn't entirely accurate or fair to the breed. Different dogs have different needs and temperaments, and a breed that may be challenging for one individual might be perfect for another, but there are some general traits that make certain breeds less suitable for our older citizens. The first breed we're going to cover here is a Siberian Husky. While Siberian Huskies are friendly and good-natured dogs, there are a few characteristics that might make Make them challenging for older adults. Huskies have a lot of energy and require extensive exercise to keep them happy and healthy. This could be challenging for individuals who have mobility issues or lack the size to keep up with the dog's needs. They are powerful dogs and if they decide to pull on a leash or jump, it might be difficult for some seniors to manage and control them, particularly if they have balance or strength issues. Huskies are intelligent but can also be quite independent and stubborn. That can make training and managing them a bit challenging for those who are not experienced dog handlers. Huskies have a thick double coat that requires regular grooming to manage shedding and maintain healthy skin. And it's pretty physically exerting and it needs a lot of consistency for the grooming, which may be demanding for some seniors. Huskies are known to be escape artists. So ensuring that they're kept safely in an enclosed environment might require a lot of vigilance. Huskies can be very vocal dogs, which may pose a problem for seniors living in communities with noise restrictions. They have a high prey drive and may chase after small animals, which could be a problem if the owner is not physically able to control or chase after the dog. Huskies generally enjoy being around people and other dogs. This nature may demand additional time and provide them with su sufficient interaction. They can have specific dietary needs, which require require additional effort in terms of preparation and planning. And like all breeds, Huskies can have health issues that might need regular vet visits, treatments, or possible interventions, which can be physically or financially demanding. Of course, all these characteristics don't rule out Huskies as pets for all seniors. Some active seniors might find a Siberian Husky to be a great match, but they are aspects to be considered and potentially mitigated with professional training, regular grooming, and a well-secured yard. The second breed we're gonna look at here is the Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russells are known for their vivacious and spirited personalities, but they're extremely energetic and require significant amounts of exercise and mental stimulation to prevent boredom and related behavioral issues. They are intelligent, but can also be stubborn and determined, which may present training challenges. And JRTs were bred for fox hunting, which means they possess a robust prey drive. They might chase after small animals, requiring a firm hold on their leash during walks. JRTs are known to be very vocal and bark a lot, which may be problematic in certain living situations, such as apartments or communities with noise restrictions. Despite their small size, they are very strong and agile. Managing them, especially when they're excited or distracted, could sometimes be physically demanding. Proper socialization is critical for JRTs to ensure they are comfortable around other dogs and people. This can require a consistent and possibly demanding physical effort. Jack Russells have a tendency to dig, which might be problematic for those who take pride in their yards or gardens or maybe have HOAs to be responsible for. They require regular mental and physical stimulation to keep them entertained, which may be very taxing for some seniors. And although they are generally healthy, JRTs can be prone to certain health issues such as eye conditions and joint problems, which may require extra care and financial attention. Regular grooming is required required to keep their coat in good condition and manage shedding, so this may be kind of a nuisance for some senior owners. Now look, some seniors may find a JRT to be a perfect, lively companion, while others may prefer a quieter, low-energy breed. Some dogs may vary significantly in temperament and behavior from general tendencies of their breed. So if you're going to get a JRT, consider adopting an older dog whose personality and energy level are established. Please like this video if you're finding value in this and subscribe to the channel. The purpose of this channel is to bring value to as many seniors as possible on various topics. The third worst breed we're going to look at here for seniors is the Rottweiler. They are strong, intelligent, and versatile. They can make excellent companions, but do come with a unique unique set of challenges. They are large, powerful dogs, which can make them very challenging to control, especially on walks and if you have limited strength or mobility. They are active dogs that require regular exercise to maintain their health and happiness, which might be physically demanding for some seniors. Rottweilers require consistent, firm, and positive reinforcement training from an early age to ensure they are well-behaved. 
This breed has a natural guarding instinct, and without proper socialization and management, this can sometimes result in aggressive tendencies. Simply managing a larger dog can be challenging. Helping them into vehicles, managing mobility issues that they might develop in older age, and stuff like that. Though Rottweilers have short coats, they do shed a lot, and regular grooming is required to manage this. Continuous socialization is crucial to ensure they are friendly and well-behaved around other dogs and people. Rottweilers can be prone to certain health issues like hip dysplasia and certain heart conditions, which may require regular vet visits and potential medical financial management, which can really rack up those medical Bills. Due to their size, Rottweilers have significant dietary needs which might be more costly and physically demanding, like carrying large bags of dog food. Large breeds often have shorter lifespans and may face age-related health issues sooner than smaller breeds. While these points suggest that Rottweilers might be challenging for some seniors, it's important to remember that individual dog personalities and capabilities vary widely. Number four is the St. Bernard. St. Bernards are large, gentle dogs known for their friendly and outgoing nature, but there are some aspects that are generally difficult for senior owners. St. Bernards are a giant breed, and managing their size and strength, particularly during walks, might be difficult for individuals with mobility or strength issues. They have dense coats that require regular grooming. This could be physically and time demanding. St. Bernards are known for slobbering and drooling a lot, which may be off-putting and difficult to manage. Their large size means they need ample space to move around comfortably, which might not be ideal for seniors living in smaller, more manageable spaces. While not as energetic as some breeds, they do require regular exercise to maintain their health, which might be taxing for some seniors. Due to their size, they have significant feeding requirements, which means managing large quantities of food could cost a lot of money. St. Bernards are prone to certain health issues like hip dysplasia and heart conditions, which may require regular vet care and possibly medical management, which can cost a lot of money. While generally good natures, their size makes it very important that they're well behaved, which requires consistent training from a very early age. They have a thick coat, which means they can overheat in hot weather, requiring vigilant monitoring and management of their comfort and hydration. Larger breeds often have shorter lifespans, and St. Bernard's may experience a related issues sooner than maybe some of their smaller canine counterparts. Number five on the list here is a Border Collie. Border Collies are highly intelligent and energetic dogs, renowned for their working and herding abilities. While they can make excellent and engaging companions, certain traits might make them challenging. They are very high energy and require extensive exercise and mental stimulation, which can be physically demanding. While they are very intelligent, they require continuous mental stimulation to prevent boredom, which can lead to other bad behaviors behaviors. They need regular and vigorous exercise, which might be challenging for some seniors with mobility issues. Border Collies thrive on learning and engagement, so they benefit from ongoing training and activities, which can be very time consuming. Border Collies, they can kind of be a pain because they have a herding instinct that might cause them to try and herd other animals or even people, which could be problematic and requires consistent management. They like to nip at children's ankles while they run, which isn't really a good thing. Adequate socialization is crucial to ensure they're comfortable and well-behaved around other dogs and people, which can demand a lot of effort. They need to be groomed regularly. They typically enjoy having a lot of space to explore and run, which might not be available to everybody. And some Border Collies can be quite vocal which may be an issue in certain living environments, meaning they like to bark. And like all breeds, they have their own certain health issues like hip issues, which might require regular vet visits. Now, a little background on this channel. I was inspired to make this channel for seniors because I work directly with the senior market. I found that seniors face a unique set of challenges and I was hoping to be able to help those challenges with this channel. I sell final expense burial insurance. So if you or a loved one would like information on an insurance policy to help protect your family against the rise and cost of final expenses, just reach out to me through the email or the phone number in the description of the video. Number six on the list is the Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamutes are majestic, friendly, and intelligent dogs known for their strength and endurance in harsh weather conditions. They are large and strong, which might make them difficult to manage, especially on walks if you're not really strong or mobile. They have a ton of energy and require significant amounts of exercise to maintain their health and happiness, which could be very strenuous for seniors. They have a dense double coat since they are from Alaska and it needs constant grooming, especially during the shedding season. They shed a lot. 
So be ready to groom and pick up a lot of hair. They can be independent and stubborn, requiring consistent and patient approach to training. So they're not always the easiest dogs to train. Their size and energy levels mean they do best in environments where they have plenty of room to move and exercise. So like if you get a house with a big yard and you can just let that thing run outside all day, then that's great. But if you got a little apartment, this isn't for you. Malamutes have a high prey drive and may chase smaller animals, which could be management challenge on walks or in yards if you don't have a fence. While they're friendly, they can be assertive and may need careful introduction around unfamiliar dogs. With their thick coat, they are very, very temperature sensitive. So you wanna keep in mind if it's too hot outside, make sure they're hydrated properly. They can be vocal, they bark a lot, they have howls and roos, and they kind of talk to each other, which might not be suitable for all living conditions. And as a large breed, they have substantial dietary needs, which might involve managing and storing and buying large quantities of food. So you may end up spending more money on your dog's food than, than your own food. Number seven on the list is the Doberman Pinscher. Dobermans are known for their loyalty, intelligence, and strong guarding instincts but while they can be excellent companions and protectors there are several reasons that might make them a challenging breed for some senior citizens to own dobermans are very energetic and require regular exercise to maintain energy levels which might be challenging for some seniors they require consistent firm positive reinforcement training from an early age so get ready to be consistently training this type of dog dobermans are large and they're very strong this can be tough if you're on a walk with the dog and it decides to take off like if you're not really strong and you don't have have big good mobility this dog's probably gonna rip you over they're protective and they have strong guarding instincts which might require extra management maybe they would go after or def try to defend against someone that they don't really have to defend against they need continuous and thorough socialization because of this to make sure they're comfortable and well behaved around other dogs and people they do have very short coats but they do shed and require regular grooming they can be prone to certain health issues like hip dysplasia heart conditions and other genetic disorders which could really set you up for a broken heart or a broken wallet. They are a large breed. They need to eat a lot. So once again, this could be costlier and may involve handling large quantities of food. So if you can't pick up a big bag of dog food, then this would be tough. Adequate space for them to move and exercise can be essential to prevent boredom and related behavioral issues like biting furniture and stuff like that. They're very protective. This could pose a liability if something perceives as a threat to their owner to them, which could result in aggressive behavior if it's not managed properly. Number eight on the list is the German Shepherd. German Shepherds are known for their intelligence, loyalty, and versatility in various work roles, such as police and service work. However, instincts which may require careful management to make sure they're not overprotective of you and aggressive towards other people because they are known to be very assertive guard dogs they have a double coat they shed a lot so if you don't want to deal with a dog shedding and hair everywhere a german shepherd is not for you they have hip problems elbow problems they do require regular veterinary care i mean there are very few german shepherds i've met that do not eventually have hip issues they do need a lot of space to move around or else they get bored and they can be vocal and they can tend to bark so if you live in an apartment community with noise restrictions you're going to have to be mindful of this number nine on the list is the dalmatian dalmatians are known for their distinct and attractive coat lively spirit and friendly disposition while they can be joyful and loving companions these certain characteristics may make them challenging for seniors the first is they have very high energy levels and require substantial exercise, which might be too demanding for some seniors. This means that they need regular and sufficient physical activity to prevent boredom and manage their energy levels. This may be a strain for some elderly individuals. They are medium to large dogs with a fair amount of strength. So if you're on a walk and the dog do goes to pull you, you may end up going down with it. They can be independent and stubborn. So this requires consistent and patient training. This may be challenging for seniors who don't have that type of patience. They 
require continuous socialization so they don't get aggressive towards other people and dogs. They do shed a lot, even though they have a short coat. So you need to be consistently grooming them. They are prone to health issues like deafness and urinary stones, which might require special care and attention. They are medium to large sized dogs. So their size and energy level typically means they do well in environments where they have plenty of space to move and exercise. Some can be quite vocal and they can bark a lot. So if you don't want a loud dog, then you kind of kind of keep in mind this if getting a Dalmatian and the costs associated with feeding, grooming and providing health care for a dog like this might be substantial. Number 10 on the list is the Australian Shepherd. So while Australian Shepherds are intelligent, loyal and good natured, they could present several characteristics that would be challenging for seniors. First, they're incredibly energetic and they require extensive exercise and mental stimulation, which might be very demanding. They require rigorous and regular physical activity, which might be a challenge for those with mobility issues and their intelligence. It means they're really smart, but they need ongoing training and mental stimulation, which can be very time consuming. Now, these dogs have a strong herding instinct, which might lead them to try to herd animals, children, or even adults. So if there's kids running around in the neighborhood, they may try to nip at their ankles. Australian Shepherds are medium sized, but they're very robust and athletic, which could be challenging for some seniors. They have a thick double coat and they shed a lot. So be ready to pick up a lot of hair and groom them frequently. They can be vocal and they do need consistent thorough socialization so that they're not out biting the neighbor's children when they go to play football. They typically enjoy having a ton of space to run around because they are herding dogs. They do have specific health issues that could cost money like hip dysplasia and other genetic conditions. So these are the top 10 potential worst dog breeds for seniors to own. I hope that you understand some of the dog breeds that would pose considerable challenges for senior owners and you can make your own judgments based on this video. Check out the next video where I cover the top 10 best dog breeds for seniors to own.